learn the Koholo. I have some special guests today because the police department is taking over the library program. So I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Hi, everybody. Sergeant Chuck Kumchungan. Hi, Nelson Escano. All right, and we're going to teach them the Koholo. So if you've been practicing, you know that the Koholo is a very traditional one that is the first thing you usually learn. So to start, we're going to have our hands, put them into fists, put them right here on our hips. We're going to slightly bend our knees, tuck our tailbones, engage our abs, and it's just going to be a four count. So we say one, two, three, tap, one, two, three, tap. And that is it. The more you bend your knees, the more you can sway your hips. <laughs> and you can do it up to speed if you go a little bit faster. Two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. And now we're going to add the hands. So the hands, you always want them to be chest level. You don't want any droopy elbows. So you want nice straight arms. And you're just going to gently pick up the tissue and toss it away. That's the best way I can think of it. You're just going to gently touch and release. And you want to always have them go in the direction that you're going. And you want your eyes to follow your hands. Because your hands are what is actually telling the story in a hula. So you always want to draw attention to your hands. So ready? We're going to get into our nice dancer pose. And we're going to go one, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. Look at these police officers go. Just remember, they'll get you. They'll get you with their hips, their hula hips. <laughs> and that's all we have for you today, so keep practicing at home, and we will see you next week. Maybe one day our officers can join us again. Have a great day. Aloha.